Hey everyone, I just wanted to share something that I got to share with our Community Young Adults group this past Thursday, and it's on the Facebook page. Uh, it's the message from April 16th on uh, the Young Adults Community Facebook page. But um, it's from uh, Luke chapter 9, verses 23 through 26, if you want to turn there. And uh, it's about Jesus' call to discipleship. So verse 23 says, Then he said to them all, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. Now, one of the most important things to understand about this verse is it's not a call to salvation. Salvation is a one-time faith decision where we put our trust in Jesus Christ and are saved by faith alone in Christ alone. This is a call to do something daily. And as Christians, we're not only called to trust Jesus once as our Savior, but we're called to live daily for him. And this is what this passage is about. So what does this daily walk of discipleship look like? Well, in verse 23, it says, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself. We have to say no to our plans and desires and put Christ's desires and his heart, what he desires, what he values, above our own desires. That's the first thing. The second thing it says is take up his cross daily. Now, back in the Roman times, the cross, and probably still is, one of the worst forms of torture and death. And Jesus here says to take up your cross daily. And sometimes living for Jesus um, can be painful because we want the things that we want to do. And sometimes submitting to Christ isn't the easiest thing to do. It's, Jesus compares it to the, the cross, a, a method of torture and death. And he, we should follow Jesus. We should follow in his footsteps. We should live the way he lived. We should walk the way he did. So the three things that are called for in discipleship are denying yourself, saying no to what you want and yes to what Jesus wants, taking up your cross, dying to your own plans, and following Jesus, following his footsteps. And then Jesus follows with three reasons why we should follow him in discipleship. The first one is in uh, verse 24. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for me will save it. And the idea here is that even though living for Jesus sometimes looks like we're losing what life is about, we're really gaining what life was really meant to be. Even though it looks like we're losing, we're gaining life. That's verse 24. Verse 25, what good is it for a man to gain the whole world and yet lose or forfeit his very self? So if you live for yourself and gain everything, gain all the money in the world, gain everything you ever wanted, but you die one day, what good is it? You never lived for Christ. You don't have any eternal riches stored up. So the idea in verse 25 is, even if you live the way you want and you gain everything you ever wanted in life, what good is it one day when you die? Because eternal riches and rewards are so much more valuable than temporal ones. So remember that, verse 25, that's the second reason. The first reason is even though it looks like you're losing life, you're gaining life, the second reason is uh, eternal riches are so much better than temporal ones. And verse 26, if anyone is ashamed of me and of my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in his glory and in the glory of the Father and of his holy angels. And this, this third one sounds wrong, but it's true. The believer who doesn't follow Jesus will be ashamed at his coming. And if you don't believe this, look at 1 John uh, 2.28. And now, dear children, continue in him, so that when he appears, we may be confident and unashamed before him at his coming. So that's, that's the three reasons for discipleship right there in this passage. Uh, even though it looks like we're losing life by following Jesus, we're gaining life. Um, eternal riches are so much better than temporal ones. Because even if you gain everything in this life, one day it's going to go away. And the third reason is you don't want to be ashamed when Jesus comes. So those are a quick uh, summarization of this passage. But again, if you want to see like a 40-minute uh, teaching on it, just uh, check out the community Facebook page. On The message was on April 16th. So uh, thanks for listening.